So guys, I added in a bunch of awesome modifications that I'm pretty sure you'll like as well as some secret rooms and yeah, we have a ton of stuff to go over in this video. I can't wait. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Damien and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series where we try to build our own Minecraft modern house with awesome redstone creations. Now guys, in today's episode, I'll be doing a lot of cool things that you guys have suggested on the last video, so let's get started. Now first things first, I added in the furniture mod as someone suggested this and I thought it was a great idea since I can barely build, so this is gonna help me out a lot. Lot. Now the furniture mod adds in a ton of awesome furnitures like washing machines and freaking stoves and sinks and all that stuff that I cannot build So let's go ahead and try to modify our crappy bathroom that we made in the last episode Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I did read all of you guys suggestions. These things are just terrible I'm really bad at building but we'll get better as we progress now You guys have told me a lot of awesome things So let's go ahead and try to um, fix those errors now some of you said I should add Add in maybe like a sink or something so there we go guys we have this lovely sink which is added in with the mod and can we actually put water in this I don't even know let's check this out um right click with a water bucket and yes guys look at that we have water in our sink and we also have like these random things on the side now I believe we could add cabinets over here I'm not sure how that looks but um I guess it looks better than the last time and of course these cabinets do work so we can put whatever we want in there and also uh, some of you said to put the trap door on the top by the glowstone and also to replace that glowstone with sea lanterns. So let's go ahead and grab some sea lanterns as well as trap doors and replace that and see how it looks. Okay guys, so um, let's go ahead and just do this real quick. So there we go, our sea lanterns. Now one thing I just found out is that you can't actually place trap doors on sea lanterns. So I'll try to do this another way. So basically, um, let's go ahead and just try to place cords here first, then place the wooden trap doors. There we go. And then maybe break it out from the back. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but um, let's try it. So apparently, yep, that does not work. So I think my only option is to choose which design I want to go with. And a trap door with the glowstone, I think looks better than the sea lanterns, mainly because it has a little bit of contrast. And actually, let's try out the entire thing because I'm not really too sure about this. There we go. And... um. I, I guess it looks good. I'm not sure. You guys have to tell me what you think, but um, it's definitely an improvement from the uh, last setup that we had. All right, so over here, I could add in my toilet. Simple and easy, and we could also put some water in there, I believe. Uh, shower, we could also add in, but we already have a shower, and it looks quite nice, I do have to mention. And um, also, we could add in a bath if we like, and I'm not sure why that's going into the wall. <laughs> okay, um, let's go ahead and just replace that over there, and maybe we could add a bath in another part of the house, I guess outside or something. I mean, this is really all of our property, so we don't have to worry about um, invading anyone else's space. So I had another awesome suggestion to add in a window to my bathroom and then have sugarcane blocking the view from the outside. So let's go ahead and do that. I think I want my window right over here, not too intrusive and also perfect for me because I get some of that lighting. I mean, in addition to having a completely open roof almost. All right, guys, so let's go outside and uh, try to modify that area and um, I do have a little bit of work I'm doing in the back so try to ignore that there's a bunch of redstone stuff going on there I'll show you guys that in just a second but for now let's go ahead and place down our sugar cane and we need some sand to do this or maybe some dirt whichever one uh, let's go ahead and grab sugar cane can we, can we get that there we go and possibly some water I'm not sure if we need water just yet because I haven't done any farming in quite some time and now no one can kind of see into this area. And maybe I should put that into the ground. All right, so there we go. I think it looks quite nice, but um, we're missing some glass. And I'm going to use the same light gray stained glass from the front of our house. I still haven't chosen the color for this, but I think it suits the house quite well. So let's go ahead and just use that. There we go. And now no one can really see into our kind of bathroom, but we can see to the outside. Another awesome invention you guys wanted me to add in was 
was to change the glowstone at the bottom of our waterfall area into redstone lamps. That way, once it turns to nighttime, I can have it turn on and not always have it on. So I think that was a pretty interesting idea. So let's go ahead and try that out. I've drained the area of all water and I'm going to go ahead and replace the glowstone now with redstone and then have it connect underground and then try to work this out. Okay, so I hollowed out an area underground where I could access my redstone lamps and what I'm going to do is basically place blocks at the bottom and then of course use my, um, what do you call it, redstone repeaters to kind of activate all of these pistons. So there we have it guys, basically what my redstone repeaters are doing is of course going through each block until it lights up each individual redstone lamp and of course you guys know this but for those of you that don't I basically just did that and it's working so all I need to do now is link it up to a daylight sensor that's inverted that way when it's nighttime it turns on and I'm gonna do this away from my house mainly because I don't want to have the design uh, reliant on the house itself meaning that I don't want to add any daylight sensor to the top of the house or modify the building in any way because you know it's just gonna, not gonna make it look good if I'm doing it based on the contraptions that I have in it so what I basically did was make a tunnel far away from my house and I'm gonna put the daylight sensor all the way at the end of this and then have it connect all right so here's where the daylight sensor is gonna be it's quite a way from my house so no one's really gonna find it or mess with it and I'm basically gonna have the redstone running all the way back down towards my house so we'll get back to this once I make it there all right so there's our signal coming all the way from our daylight sensor now all I need to do is invert the signal using this redstone repeater a random block and then a redstone torch and then once I have that I basically connect that redstone towards our kind of small creation and I probably should have done it from this way to that way but I'm not smart when it comes to planning stuff out in advance so there we go guys now we have that um, thing completed and I'm gonna put a redstone repeater here just in case and now we're gonna test it out so basically I would just go ahead and change my time to night time and that's I think 18,000 there we go and now it's night time and our thing should turn on and there we go so that was quite easy very simple and let's go ahead and just add our water back into the map and um, see how this works when it's totally completed and now whenever it's nighttime it will light up but whenever it's daytime it will not so here we are in the inside of our house pretty awesome and then here is us from the outside so we have a view of the inside and outside and we can go ahead and change it back to daytime where we can see our lights turning off Okay, so let's continue decorating the house and we're back in the bathroom just for one second I actually wanted to add in the shower head which I found in the mod and it looks a lot better Compared to the trip hook. So now I'm gonna go ahead and modify the kitchen We have a bunch of different appliances and whatnot and first up We have the kitchen counter which is gonna look quite nice and we could kind of replace it from the quartz Which looks a lot better in my opinion. So there we go guys. It looks quite nice And um, I think we actually need to do it like that. There we go and we could also replace sinks and stuff so let's go ahead and uh, maybe make our sinks on this side we could have two of them there we go looks quite nice and have some kitchen cabinets on the wall and I'm not sure why this is blue but um, I guess it looks good I think we could paint it or something I'm not too sure and um, on this side of the wall we also need to replace this with quartz so maybe add in another kitchen cabinet what else do we have we have a bin which you go on the side and this bin is actually a legit bin and we click empty to kind of delete it so look at that guys that is pretty awesome and uh, we could also add in a fire alarm just in case our house catches on fire I think that works also which is pretty cool we have a dishwasher which could be um, maybe right next to the sink. It's usually right next to the sink, but um, in, in my opinion, I really don't know. So I guess there's our dishwasher or maybe over here. I think we'll look better over here, to be honest. So let's go ahead and just um, grab our counter and replace that. Maybe on the side, we could add in our fridge. Um, I'm not a freaking builder of kitchens, so I really don't know where I would put my fridge. But yeah, um, if you guys think I'm cheating by using mods, I honestly think it's a whole lot better to use this mod than to build in kind of like makeshift items. And also, maybe we could also access this, and why did I say also twice? So we could actually put stuff inside that fridge to store it. That is actually pretty cool. Alright, so what else do we have? I think we um, have some other appliances, which includes maybe like a microwave, there we go, as well as a toaster. So let's go ahead and just grab that and place our microwave in the corner and maybe the toaster 
um, on the other side. We need to place a toaster where the toast is not going to get wet from the sink water, which I guess should be right next to the microwave. So the last thing we're going to do, guys, is add in our redstone creation. Today's redstone creation is our hidden staircase, which is going to lead to an underground secret room. And this is going to be a simple spiral staircase. And I'm going to go ahead and just punch out the blocks. I already have my area set up, and this area is... um right over here I would just basically just break all of these blocks and uh, expose the area and this area is actually four by six by four and basically it's like you know four this way six that way and then four up and then the top block is gonna be the block that we are kind of blending the staircase into all right, so let's go ahead and do this by um, just expanding our area and then getting the corresponding items. We need sticky pistons, of course, a bunch of redstone items, redstone torches, and some random blocks so we can do some decorative designs. So uh, we just get a bunch of different wool colors. There we go. I believe we want some sci scion and some yellow. Or maybe a different color that does not, you know, blend in with the map. So first things first, we want to go ahead and raise this up by two blocks, place down a sticky piston at the top, facing up, and then we place another uh, block over here. It doesn't really matter what block you place at the moment, so let's go ahead and just continue by placing two more blocks over here. Placing a block facing this way, placing a block in the front, there we go. Then breaking those two blocks, placing two more blocks over here, extending it up to the top, placing two blocks like this. Two blocks like this and two more blocks like so and you guys can just follow along here and then once we have that we go ahead and um, place a block up here I believe I'm not I'm not sure maybe over here and down here then we place two more blocks over here and then we go ahead and just place one right over there so what we need to do now is break this block next to our piston put down a redstone repeater over here to four ticks another one over here on the normal ticks place down a block at the top and place a one at the bottom place a redstone or a redstone dust down here as well as a redstone torch two more pieces of redstone dust or maybe three pieces and then we have that kind of combination and then we take our block and then replace it back over here and once we have that we basically have the first set of our uh, redstone completed and i'm trying to remember what else we do all right so i think down here if we use a different color of wool we could place I believe two blocks right over there and then once we have that place two or four more blocks over here place two repeaters then have it at its regular ticks redstone over here and then I believe redstone up here place a block over there so let's go ahead and just use another um, color wool two over here two more and then two over here so yeah a lot of twos and then we have redstone repeaters place it to the maximum amount of ticks once we have that we add in our redstone connect it down to there I believe and then we could go ahead and place the final bit of redstone which is going to be in this area down here and we essentially just you know put it one up then two over here place down a redstone repeater at four ticks and then have our redstone connect to that and once we have that we could go ahead and just grab ourselves a lever and that lever is going to allow us to um you know make this work so there we go guys there is our Kind of secret staircase i did learn this one from mumbo jumbo i know you guys love that channel so much and i decided to check it out because one of you guys commented that i should possibly use one of his designs and i do feel like i need to credit him before a lot of you yell at me like oh that is his design so basically all we need to do now is essentially just turn this on and once we have that we can identify the blocks that we want to replace and we could go ahead and grab that gray wool grab the blue and then also grab um, the gray again. <laughs> and then once we have that, turn it off. And then replace this block with, I believe, um, blue and uh, the same color. So there we go. And that is the final block, I believe. So now we could go ahead and try it again. Hopefully I didn't mess up anything. And now we have a working staircase. So that looks pretty good. And okay, so now we just have to fill it in. And hide it from the naked eyes and then basically, you know, just wrap it around over here. So where's my quartz? Okay, there we go. And now finish up our wall and then hide our redstone. And there we go. So now it's like a hidden freaking area in the ground. 
Can I bring this over? Ah, oh, God, come on. I'm stuck. I'm stuck over here. There we go. <laughs> and now we have, like, all the redstone kind of exposed in the back of the house. I still haven't hit the this one from the last episode, but I will be modifying the back. Like I mentioned, it's not the top priority right now because I still want to extend the area and add in a bunch of other stuff. And also, uh, maybe, you know, build into the area around us. So another thing I do want to add is, of course, the secret room or maybe a passageway leading to the bottom and also a freaking switch which is what I forgot. Okay, so for a switch, I'm not sure what we should do, to be honest. Um, we just need to have a way to access that from all the way up here. And I'm, I'm not sure if I want to put a secret switch like that over here as well, because um, this one is quite difficult to make and quite complicated. And I honestly just want to have like a lever or a button somewhere. So let's go ahead and just grab ourselves a button and try to connect this in the best way we can to the... Um, to the place that we need it to connect to. So down here is where we need it. And I would essentially just need to place a redstone repeater over here. And this is where the signal has to come from. There we go. Just have it like curved around the map. There we go. Awesome. And the block over here will be the block that we need to power. And we can also bring it up one more. So that's quite simple. So, oh God, how am I going to do this? To be honest, I really don't know. Oh no, that's not going to work out. Um, hmm. This is quite confusing. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe we could um, have a repeater over here. That way it's actually, no, a repeater over here that's powering or coming from this block and then have a bit of redstone over here and then have a um, button over here. So when I hit that button, it lights that up and then it lights this up. So, okay, so that works. <laughs> I actually figured it out for once. Okay, so let's just get dirt for the sake of continuity and then place down some redstone destroy that block and now I believe it should work so let's go ahead and just replace all of this nonsense there we go and hopefully um, everything goes according to plan and we actually need a block up here as well as possibly a whole bunch of blocks over here to complete our room and once we have that we can make a staircase that's kind of going down into wherever we want so oh god is there redstone over there Oh no, there's a redstone for the front of our house. This is not this is not gonna work out too well, guys. So I I guess I have to build it to the right. Because it's kind of conflicting with our front door, which is like right over there. That is so freaking close. Okay, so I guess we'll go maybe to our left, or maybe to our right, or maybe underground, because I mean there's a lot of redstone at the top of the map already. But basically, there's our hidden staircase. We now hit that button. And there we go. I I guess that did not work. Let's try it again. And okay, so something's wrong. Maybe I need to have a continuous signal, which will make a lot a lot more sense. So I guess that means I need to make like a T flip flop or something. I don't know what you call it, but um, oh, this is gonna be so complicated. Oh, okay, we can all obviously just put a redstone lever over here. What am I talking about? Putting a button. Okay, uh, try that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I solved that problem uh, quite easily. And now whenever you flick that lever, we could go down into our secret room. Okay, so there we have it, guys. My awesome inventions and creations and modifications into the map. If you guys have your own suggestions, please leave it in the comment section down below. I will add it in. I do read all of the comments, and your comments might be featured in the next episode. So anyways, guys, this is Twist, and I'll see you later.